Hey guys, it's Peggy Dean and in this video I am going to now show you how to create a repeat pattern using Photoshop. So in previous videos I have gone over how to create repeat patterns on the iPad along with Illustrator. This one is going to be particularly geared toward only Photoshop. So this will be um, good information to help you with your workflow and what you prefer. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new canvas and I like to go with 3000 pixels by 3000 at 300 DPI. Um, if you're using this for screens, you can stick to 72. I like 300 because it will guarantee that it when, if and when I print this, it will be nice and large and crisp in its resolution. So I'm gonna press create. And now that I have that, assuming that you have your art scanned in and ready to go, I am going to drag those over. So I have got this art here that I wanna pull in. I'm going to first start with, I know I had it somewhere, these guys. So I just have some easy flowers here and I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. And then I am going to select one of these and transform it. So to do that, um, if you don't know already, I'm just gonna back out of this, um, you just select it. So if I press L on my keyboard, it's gonna bring me my lasso tool, and then I'm just going to drag my mouse around this object, press Command T or Control T on a PC, and then see this little arrow on the corner, I can move that just like so, and then drag this anywhere I want, and increase the size of just this one without the other one, and then I'm pressing Enter, and then pressing Command D, um, anytime I say command, if you're on a PC, it would be control um, to release that selection. So I'm going to select this one, transform, and then move it just a little bit higher. Might move this one even lower. Okay. And now I'm going to enter some additional artwork. So I'm going to do this one that I was hovered over. Where are we? There we go. Pulling that in. And now what I want to do is quickly put all of these elements on their own layer so that they're not all in one. You can work this way, but it's just going to be easier to prevent overlap if you select each one. So I'm going to do that pressing my lasso tool. And I am just going to be careful to not get onto the other objects because I'm just selecting this one piece here. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to say um, command C for copy and command V for paste. And that's creating a new version of this on another layer. You can also cut and paste. Um, I just like to do it this way so that I can see that I have already selected one item because I can see now there's double and then I can remove the bottom layer when I'm done. So I'm going to select the bottom layer again, grab my lasso tool and do this same thing to all of these elements. And then once I have all of these copied, I will go to that first initial layer and delete it. Now I have all of these. Anytime I grab one of these items, they are independent of the other. Um, I'm noticing right here where I digitized this work, um, there's a little bit of a white space. So I'm gonna get rid of that by pressing E on my keyboard. If you need to rotate um, between the different types of eraser tools or pen tools, you can press shift on your keyboard and then use the same short key like E to get to this magic eraser. I'm gonna click that and it gets rid of it fully. So see now I don't have that white space. Um, now I'm just gonna position these where I'm gonna want them on my canvas. You can see that if I drag it over this flower, I have this overlap and I would rather have the overlap with the flower first. So I'm going to bring the flower above. There we go. And you can do that just by dragging your layers over here on the right. And then I'm going to drag this. I might, whoops, I might tilt it a little bit. Maybe have it come from up here. You can also flip it so I can flip horizontally or flip vertically by right clicking when you're in transform. Okay, that's better. And then drag these where I want these. Might drag these leaves here. And you kind of just place them where they make sense to you, but you do want to make sure 
that the entire artboard is covered so you don't have any gaps. Um, something else that would help is if you do increase the size here. So you might notice that when you press transform, so if I go to this item, if I press transform, if I just drag this, it can warp like this. If you want to make sure that you stay uniform, if you press shift, then drag, it will keep it in its um, original dimension, both width and height, which will help you a lot. So if you want to enlarge these, this could also be done before you put them all on their own layers, but you might want to keep some small and some larger. So that's where this comes in handy. See, I have another white space right here that I want to get rid of. There we go. And then this guy. Okay. So just position those where you want. I might change a few things up here. Okay, so that looks good to me. And then what I can do once I start filling this pattern is I will fill in the empty spaces because there will be some, but overall you wanna be happy with how this is looking. I could sit here and replace everything all day long. <laughs> but if you do that, you will never get anywhere. One more. And you want to make sure that um, nothing is falling off of the edge because you'll lose that in a repeat and then it will just look like a sharp area, which you do not want. Pink. Yeah. Okay, so let's look with the, at what this looks like as a repeat. So the first thing that I want to do is merge these layers once I am happy with it. So know that once you merge them, you can't move them anymore. So I'm selecting all of them, right click, say merge layers. Now I'm going to go over to filter, go to other, offset. I'm gonna want this to be exactly half. So although it looks like it's working, um, I am going to actually make it half of what my canvas size is, which is going to be 1500 pixels since my canvas is 3000 pixels. You can see that it is placing itself. It's doing its repeat on itself. So this would be a repeat swatch. I'm going to say, okay, this is where I can start filling an empty space. So you can feel free to move these elements. So all you have to do is I can lasso around this, press transform, but know that it's on the same layer. So it's not its own standalone. So if you just grab it without pressing transform, then it will grab the entire layer. But I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna move this slightly. And then I'm just gonna throw a leaf in here. So I'm gonna actually grab the same elements that I grabbed before, drag those over. And then I'm only going to take this one here, go around this guy and then copy paste and then delete that other layer. And now I can select this, right click, I'm gonna flip it horizontally and then move it so it's not exactly what this guy is. Actually, since these are so close together, I think I might bump this up and then move the this one um, down more. So I'm just gonna lasso that and actually move it down. And then I can move this one up even higher. That makes much more sense. Um, now that that is done, I can see what this is going to look like as it repeats. I'm just gonna, there we go. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna save this as your pattern. I'm gonna go to edit, define pattern. And then I'm going to name this pattern, so I'll just say orange and ink. Okay, now I'm going to create a new canvas that's larger than the one I'm using. So I know this one's 3000 by 3000, so I'll just say 5000 and create that. And then I'm going to go to edit, fill, and then here, if it's not already on pattern where it says contents, go to pattern and then custom pattern and fill. And then you see I have my repeat pattern. 
and that is all there is to it. So I hope that this is a helpful tutorial. If you guys agree and you want to see more, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time.